Okay, this is my Egyptian corner. And this particular scene was made famous in the movie, I'll Believe You. In fact, the pivotal scene in the movie takes place here. There's my Tutankhamun lamp, spelled out in hieroglyphs. This says, Neb Keperu Re, Lord of the Manifestations of the Sun God Re. Okay, and these are some of my gilded treasures from Egypt. This is the goddess Hathor. And she is also known as the cow goddess. She's always represented with, horn, as, with horns or as a cow or as a calf. So you don't have to be terribly perceptive to see that she was mentioned indirectly in the Bible in the Exodus story of Moses when he comes down from the mountain and sees that his followers have Melt, have melted their gold jewelry and made a golden calf. Well, that was Hathor. Hathor was a beloved goddess of music and dance. And John called her the, the party goddess. And I bought these at the Khan Al Kali in, in, in Cairo. They're gilded. And over here, we have Horus, the son of Osiris. He's the one with the the hawk's head, and he's all gilded nice. Bought him at the same time. And down here is Osiris himself. But the one god that they didn't have was Men, the god of fertility and harvest. Well, I ordered a, a statue of Men from a museum supply. And here is men. But I was very disappointed because he was just spray painted with gold. And then, so I I had fortunately brought some, some gold leaf back from, from Thailand. And I gold leafed this and then painted it and added hieroglyphic inscriptions. This is his name, Men. And back here, this says, what was made by glass artist Jerry Preston. Now, usually these statues had an inscription in the front of them, which, which gave a blessing. This one says, De Ankh, which means, may you be given life, prosperity, and health. But I felt that the statue of men should have an additional benediction. So what this says is, may your phallus stand up eternally. I sent a picture of this to my mentor, Dr. James Kolk. He's the one who wrote this Middle Egyptian grammar. And I used to study this about uh, two hours every morning. And I would call him up and ask him questions that I didn't quite understand. And I sent him pictures of, the, of men here, of the god men. And he said that he had shown it to all of his friends who can read hieroglyphs. And they all got a big kick out of it. You got to bear in mind that men is one of the oldest cults he actually predated the, dyna the, the dynastic period. The god Men. The god of fertility, of course. My Egyptian corner. This incidentally says, is something that I drew up and had executed in Egypt. You see, this is Horus, this is Osiris, and this is Isis. And what it says is, yeah, I can't see up there. Anyway, it says, Thus saith Horus, the son of Isis. Uh, uh, the, the son of, of Isis, yeah. And I bring glass artist Jerry Preston. His heart is true, coming forth from balance. It did not sin against any gods or goddesses. 
May he be given bread and beer coming into the presence of Osiris. May he be like the followers of Horus forever. I should have used my stabilizer for this.